So we've been talking a lot lately about MSNBC's bias and quite frankly their hatred towards Bernie Sanders um, and how they're not speaking truth to power and how by and large they are misinforming viewers and they're not allowing people who tune into MSNBC to know about the range of options that they have in 2020. And if you watch MSNBC, I can't imagine that you know much about policies, let alone about everyone who's running. But every once in a while, they'll bring on a guest who will actually penetrate that bubble and speak truth to power. This time, Michael Moore was brought on, and he was on a panel with Brian Williams, Claire McCaskill, Joanne Reed, and Steve Schmidt, and he gave them the reality check that they desperately needed, and everything he said was spot on. Take a look. I think that we have to, when you guys were talking about how we have to be more moderate or move to the center, that's how we're going to win uh, next year. See, to me, I think... Moving to the center, I am the center. I, I am the mainstream now of the Democratic Party. The majority of Americans agree with me and Bernie on all the issues, whether it's, whether it's uh, health care for all, whether it's climate change, um, minimum wage, mass incarceration. But down the whole list, the, the, the American people have moved left. So the center is, is now more of these sorts of things. This is what we believe. So when you say that, like, for instance, with... Um, uh, Joe Biden said tonight, 160 million Americans want to keep their, their private insurance. Says who? Are you actually talking to people about this? They, yes, they want the assurance that whatever we have with the new Medicare for all is essentially just a transfer from what they have with their good union health care. It's going to be that, but it's going to be better for you. and You're not going to have co-pays and deductibles. Fine. But what... The average Democrat and the average American does not like the health insurance company. They hate Aetna and Cigna and United Healthcare. These are people that they're fighting with to get them to pay a bill that they won't pay. The, the healthcare industry has caused more pain and harm and anxiety for the American people than practically any other industry. And, and we should never side with candidates that are going to say, we're going to, we're going to keep this private profit-making thing going. That's not where the American people are at. They are fed up with this. And I'll tell you, I got an earful of it back home in Flint last month when General Motors was on strike. Yep. What did the CEO of GM do on the third day of the strike? She took away their health care. She shut it down. They couldn't believe it. Nobody, my, I come from a GM family. We, we I mean, GM, your health care, UAW employee, sure. it's everything, medical, dental, eye care. You even get a free lawyer if you need one. <laughs> it's like, it's the best. And on the third day, they saw the thing that they thought they'd have forever could be taken away by the company like that. And that's what people need to know, that we can never allow our health insurance to be in the hands of a private profit-making company where they can end you tomorrow. Anybody watching the show right now, your boss could wake up in the morning and go, you know what, Steve, the, it just cost us too much money. You know, here to have this to have this uh, health insurance for the employees. We got to cut it back. We got to raise the deductible. They can do this just like that. That should be illegal. It's a human right, and we need to be like every other industrialized country that has this. So that was virtually perfect. There's really nothing that I can say to supplement that clip because it, it was perfect. He said everything that I would have said if I were on that panel, except he probably said it more eloquently. That was beautiful. I am the center. Americans have moved left. I mean, we shouldn't have to explain that to MSNBC hosts, but here we are. They believe that if you support something like Medicare for All, you are an extremist, when in actuality, this is a return to FDR-style politics. This is not a new policy. Democrats have had single payer as a goal for decades now, but yet all of a sudden, this is something that's radical. If you support this, you're radical. Actually, no, that's not the case. Democratic Party voters support Medicare for All. And before centrist Democrats started attacking it, polls started to show that even a majority, not a plurality, a majority of Republicans backed single payer, Medicare for All. So when you say and suggest that, you know, supporting progressive policies like free college and Medicare for All and a Green New Deal are extremist and far left. That's a lie because people who are progressive are the center. Now, it's a little bit misleading because 
if you ask people, more often than not, they will self-identify as conservative. But when you go issue by issue, people are, by and large, more left-leaning, more progressive. So political labels themselves are not that useful. You have to go by the policies. And when you look at the policies, when you look at the platforms of 2020 candidates, they're with Bernie Sanders, more so than any other candidate, perhaps. Now, on top of that, the point that he made about health insurance was just amazing. He said, Joe Biden said tonight, 160 million Americans want to keep their private insurance. Says who? Are you actually talking to people about this? He goes on to say, the average American does not like their healthcare company. They hate Aetna and Cigna and United Healthcare. These are the people, they're fighting to get them to pay a bill that they won't pay. The healthcare industry caused more pain, harm, and anxiety for people than practically any other industry, and we should never side with candidates that say we're just going to keep the private profit-making thing going. That's not where the American people are at. And then he went on to talk about how General Motors used the healthcare that they provide to employees as leverage while they were striking. I mean, hearing someone say something like this about health insurance companies on mainstream media, it's like seeing a rainbow because it's so rare, but whenever you see it, you can't not stop and look and just appreciate it because it's so beautiful. I mean, everything he says here is 100% correct. People do not like their private insurance companies. And whenever there's this talk of people wanting to keep their private insurance, no, they want to keep their doctors. They want to make sure that if we transition to Medicare for all, they'll have the same level of coverage. For most people, their insurance is going to be better under Medicare for all, and they're going to be paying less. We're not getting what other countries are getting, and we need to move to where the rest of the world is. And the last thing I want to end on here is a quote from Michael Moore, which is just, it's perfect. It's the perfect quote to end on. We can never allow our health insurance to be in the hands of a private profit-making company where they can end you tomorrow. Anybody watching the show, your boss can wake up in the morning and take away your health insurance on a whim like that. Why are we allowing this system to persist? Why? This is a system that is riddled with instability. There are 500,000 plus medical bill related bankruptcies that take place every single year tens of thousands die because they don't have health insurance why are we letting corporate media who are using talking points from the industry and politicians who are funded by the industry dupe us into accepting a system that is against our best interests we shouldn't so mainstream media isn't going to educate people on this but every once in a while there will be a guest like Michael Moore who comes on and says exactly what people who tune into MSNBC need to hear and frame it in a way that's so brilliant that I hope that it gets them to think more deeper about these issues that the mainstream media downplays and dismisses and does propaganda you know, against. Medicare for All is something that we need desperately. And anyone in the mainstream media, any politician who's arguing against it, is literally trying to convince you to be in favor of something, in favor of a system that is trying to kill you and bankrupt you. They don't care about you, they care about profits. Medicare for All would shift the goal from increasing profit to delivering healthcare. That's what we need, that's what would save lives and stop medical bankruptcies once and for all. Kudos to Michael Moore for actually saying this on national television. I wish that more people would say that, but you know, I'm sure that it, uh, if you did say this regularly, you wouldn't be invited back on. And uh, we'll see if Michael Moore gets invited back on. MSNBC surprisingly brings him on fairly frequently. But if he keeps this up, I doubt he's going to get many uh, invites in the future. But we'll see.